Please open your Bible with me to Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. This looks like a continuation, but a little different. Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. Growing successful business in a difficult economy. Growing a successful business in a difficult economy. Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3, very popular scripture. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scornful. Blessed is the man who, who, who walks in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. The next verse, verse 2. But his delight is where? Where is his delight? In the law of the Lord. Everybody say his delight is in the law of the Lord. His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. That man is not interested in walking in the counsel of the ungodly. That man is not interested in sitting in the seat of scornful, those who despise other people, those who talk down on other people. He's not interested in other people's business. He does not even, uh, 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 he does not, sorry, he does not stand uh, in, the, uh, in the way of the ungodly, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He's not interested. But where is his interest? Where is the man's interest? In the law of the Lord. The man loves to know more. He loves information, revelation, knowledge. His desire is in the law of the Lord. On this law, he meditates how many times? Day and night. Let's look at verse 3. What will be the result of this man? Even if the economy is difficult. Psalm 3. Can we have some verse 3? Psalm 1 verse 3. Praise God. Verse 3. He shall be like what? Planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. Every time he should bring forth fruit, it brings forth fruit in its season. Whose leaf also shall not what? Wither. And whatever he does shall, shall prosper. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Everybody wants to build a successful career, a successful business, a successful life, a successful marriage, a success... Every, there is even mad people, if you ask somebody that is mad, do you want to fail or do you want to succeed? I'm sure the mad person will say, I want to succeed. So his madness does not get to that point where he, do, he wants to fail. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you want to know what I'm talking about, bring out cash, brand new notes, 1,000 1, notes, before a madman and do like this, he will catch it. <laughs> because he knows, he wants more of that. So his madness has not gotten to that point where he does not want to succeed. But ladies and gentlemen, success doesn't just happen. Success, successful business does not just happen. Successful career does not just happen. Successful career is built. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sometimes many people think that those who are successful are lucky. Or those who are successful, it is because they are born from a wealthy family. Yeah, that could be a plus in a way. But the truth, the real truth is that if you are successful, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So success doesn't just happen. If you, when we're in school and you, uh, people do jump or do a egg, when people fail, they will say they fail me. Have you heard that before? Why egg fail me? 
Jam failed me. Nobody wants to take responsibility for their failure. But when they pass, they will say, I pass. Did you see the difference now? But when they fail, they say, ah, they failed me. They gave me three, two credits. They gave me seven F9. They didn't give you. They don't give people. People hand what they give them. Even it's A1 parallel. I had A1 parallel. It's not them. So that tells you the nature of man. And that's why many people fail. Only 2% of the world population control 98% of the wealth of the world. The reason is very simple. They are not ready to take responsibility for their failure. And, so, and every time you fail, you're not willing to take responsibility for it. What you're simply doing is that you're signing for more failure. Because you can only learn from a failure when you take responsibility for it. But you ask yourself, what did I do wrong? What am I supposed to do that I did not do? What did I do that I'm not supposed to do? That is a responsible question of, from someone who is willing to improve, who is willing to turn his failure to what? To success. I will, I will, look, an average person does not want to take responsibility for their failure. But if you look at where we read, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the ways of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. On this law he meditates both day and night. He shall be like a tree. It is automatic for him to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. He brings forth his fruit in every season. And whatsoever he does, prosper. After this meeting, whatever you touch will prosper. I thought you would say a big amen. amen. So when people say they failed me in school, why gave me seven F9? By the time they start business too, when they fail, they will say they will say they fail too. They will say this country is a very bad country. That is one. Or they can say, oh, my father didn't try enough. Look at so, so, so. If my father had done what so, 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 what fathers did to him, I would have succeeded. Every time you behave that way, you're not ready to succeed. Successful people are people who say, if I fail, it's my fault. If I succeed, it is also my fault. I will say, if I fail, it's my fault. And if I succeed, it is my fault. So please, one of the things to know is that successful career doesn't just happen. Successful business doesn't just happen. Successful business is grown. Successful career is grown. You grow it. You build it. Amen. Bricks, just like you build a house. Build brick after bricks. Abby? To the lintel, to the roof, one after the other. And listen to me, you can succeed too. Success is not meant for certain people that are from certain region. Success is not meant for certain people with certain color. Success is meant for all. Anyone who follow divine principles. The Bible says this man does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the ways of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. On this powerful scriptural principles he meditates day and night that he might observe to do all that is written in it Job, Joshua 1 8 2 says this book of the Lord must not depart from your mouth you must meditate in it both day and night that you might observe to do all that is written therein then you make you will make your way prosperous he didn't say Dwayek will make your way prosperous he didn't say Jamb will make your way prosperous he didn't say your country will make your way prosperous he said you will make so where you are at the moment is your fault. I, I'm, I'm so sorry to say this. I know it's the truth we don't like to hear. Somebody came to our church one time, first time, second time, and he had some things, and he said, no, 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 no. This is too, this man is too direct. He's too raw. He's... So the next time he said, let's go to church, he said he's not coming to our church. And that's why he stopped coming. He said, no. Because people like to be deceived. People like to be told that the reason why they are where they are is because there is a woman in their father's house in the village. 
who is constantly burning some incense against them. And that's the reason why they are not succeeding. Listen to me. When you follow divine principles, even if somebody will go ahead to burn anything, that person is wasting his time. Are you following me? Don't, start, don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Don't stand in the ways of sinners. Don't sit in the seat of the scornful. Put your delight in the law of the Lord and meditate in it both day and night and see whether you will not be like a tree planted by the... He said, it shall be like a tree. I said, I will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I will bring forth my fruit in every season. Whatever I do shall prosper. So it takes diligent efforts to succeed. It takes continuous, consistent, working. Not something you work last year, you are tired. You are living by a principle. You are consistent with these principles. And you are not deviating from it because of the weather. You are consistent. There is nowhere anybody gets to that you two will not get to. I pray for someone here. Success will be visible in your life. So it takes diligent effort from the business owner and his team to build a successful business. It takes diligent effort from the person, the career person, to build a successful career. There are many timeless strategies in God's word. So many principles. Every success book you read today, they are extract from the Bible. Whether it's written by a Christian or it's written by a Muslim, or it's written by a pagan. Every good success book, they are extract from principles of God's word. There's a book, the King of, uh, the King of Dubai, Ruth. I, I, I read the book of that man because he's a successful uh, leader. The King of Dubai is a successful leader who built one of the most beautiful countries in the world in 50 years, in less than 50 years. Hallelujah. And turn a desert to a beautiful place. So I, 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 I stumbled on one of his books one day and I bought and I started reading and I saw that these principles are the same. They are the same. Whether the book is, is to, if it's success you are talking about, it's the same. Whether you leave Ota, to Ottawa, it's still the same. You know Ottawa is very close here. Ottawa is where? Where's Ottawa? Say, right? Canada. Yeah, thank you, Canada. Whether you leave Ota for Ottawa, even though they look alike, it's the same principle. Whether you move from Ondo to London. You know, if you put L in front of Ondo, it's London. <laughs> it's almost London. They look alike. There is nowhere in the world. Once there is sky there, it's the same principle. Maybe in heaven, it will be a different principle, but here, it's the same. Whether you are black or you are white, you are tall or you are short, you are ugly or beautiful, wherever you are illiterate or literate, the principles are the same. And nobody can escape walking the principles. So if you see anybody succeed, they walk some of these principles. Receive grace to walk these principles. I thought you would say a big amen. Donald Trump's success is said to be traced to Norman Pale Vincent. You know Donald Trump, before he became the president of America, he was a successful real estate businessman. And they asked him, he said, you can trace his success in business to Norman v Pale Vincent. When he was growing up as a young man, he likes all the preachings and the teachings and the books of Norman Pale Vincent, the man who wrote Positive Thinking. You know Positive Thinking? He, he, he likes reading. So he said it was even the Positive Thinking, that particular book that changed his life, that if you can think it, you can do it. If you can think it, if you can be committed, so I said, but pastor, this thing kit they are saying, this motivational thing, I'm thinking it. You are thinking it, in a, you are not thinking it like, if you think it enough. Let me tell you what I'm talking about thinking it. He said, in, on this book, he meditates how many times? Whether it is raining day or dry day, that's what he's thinking about. Whether it's broke or it's buoyant, that's what he's thinking about. Now, People who think it and say, hey, I'm thinking it, some of them are not committed to it. They think it's a mind game. They think it's just few mental pictures. Just create some few mental pictures and see yourself in limo limousine. And, you know, and, and, uh, but by the time you get to the bus stop, you, that you just saw yourself that way and conductor of Yabu, you start saying, who are you in the white? That is, you, you switch to that thought again, you come back again, you switch to it again, you come back to it again, and you are telling us you are thinking. You are not thinking anything. You are thinking it, you are neutralizing it. Day and night, this man is consistent. He's focused on this basic principle. 
He said, this man shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. It's, look, if all the uncles you have are re refused to help you, if you understand what I'm talking about this morning, God will help you.